The frilled shark is a deep water shark that swims in an eel-like fashion. Their long bodies are either dark brown or gray in color on top and lighter on the bottom, which makes them indistinguishable from both predator and prey in their environment. They can grow up to about six and a half feet in length, the females usually getting larger than the males. This shark has a broad flat head with a rounded snout. Most sharks have five pairs of gill slits, but the frilled shark has six, each individual gill slit having a frilled edge to it, which is where the shark gets its name. The first gill slit is continuous across its throat. Another distinguishable aspect of this animal are its teeth. They have several rows of small, sharp, inwardly pointed teeth, each having three sharp points. These multiple pointed teeth makes it easy for this animal to tear into the flesh of its prey. There is speculation that their bright white teeth, in contrast to their dark mouth, help attract their preferred prey, squid. The squid swim against the teeth and can get entangled, making attempted escape futile. These sharks are slow-moving, solitary animals whose primary diet consists of deep-water fish, squid, and sometimes other sharks. The frilled shark can open their jaws extremely wide, allowing them to take in prey up to half its size. No one has ever seen one feed live, so there is some speculation on how they capture or find prey. They also have an open lateral line system, making their vibration sensing system sensitive to even the tiniest movement. Like all other shark species, the frilled shark uses internal fertilization as a mode of reproduction. This means that copulation takes place inside the female's oviducts. The males have long claspers used for grasping the female for mating. Claspers are modified pelvic fins on male sharks. During fertilization, the eggs hatch inside the mother, making the frilled shark ovoviviparous. They give live birth after fertilization. There is no distinct breeding season, seeing as they inhabit depths at which there is little to no seasonal impact. The frilled shark gives live birth to an average of six pups per litter, and they have a lifespan of up to 25 years. What's really interesting is that their entire gestation period lasts over three and a half years, making it longer than any other living vertebrae. The frilled shark's habitat is benthopelagic, meaning they live and feed near the ocean bottom, but also sometimes in midwaters and near the surface. They live near seafloors at depths between 120 to 1,280 meters and are occasionally seen up at the surface. Their geographic range extends worldwide, but has a patchy distribution. Populations inhabit the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, most specimens coming from Japanese waters. Frilled shark predators include other sharks and humans. Although they are not targeted by fisheries, they are caught incidentally as bycatch by bottom and midwater trawls, deep-set longlines, and gill nets. Bycatch of this animal is used for fish meal, meat, or simply discarded, because they are not economically significant to society. With little knowledge available about their population size on a global scale, it is not clear what effect bycatch may be having on the species' survival. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, or the IUCN, the frilled shark is considered near-threatened on the red list of endangered species. This species is vulnerable due to its infrequent reproduction, scarcity, abnormally long gestation period, and low reproductive output. Even small losses of populations could have detrimental consequences on the frilled shark species' survival. The biggest threat to these animals are humans and their continuous expansion of commercial fisheries into deeper waters where they live. Japanese fishermen even regard them as a nuisance as they damage their nets. The frilled shark is not considered dangerous to man because it has seldom been encountered alive. Currently, there are no conservation actions in place for the frilled shark. Some authors have seen the frilled shark as an explanation for sea serpent sightings. Due to their strange lizard-like head shape, ruffled features, long serpentine body, and small fins, it could easily be mistaken for a mythical creature. There are two inconvenient facts about this fish that debunk this myth. It rarely grows longer than six and a half feet, and it hardly ever visits the surface. Due to their slender build and deep water adaptivity, this shark would realistically never stay emerged in surface waters due to possible bodily function failure that would occur due to pressure difference. They have a huge liver filled with low-density oils and hydrocarbons, making the frilled shark neutrally buoyant at great depths. 
due to its fin arrangement underneath its body, it suggests that they may hover in midwater and could potentially strike at prey in a snake-like fashion. The frilled shark is ecologically important to its deepwater habitat in that it is a natural predator in its marine system. It keeps a balance on its ecosystem, and if fisheries continue to invade their home, it could mean extinction for these magnificent creatures.